Okay, so I was asked a question on what do I do if suddenly an incident flares up out of nowhere? Um, how do I handle that? Well, that happens, you know, suddenly you're having a peaceful, serene day, everything's blissfully and timelessly going along. And you suddenly get a phone call or you get an email and suddenly all these emotions and all these dramas seem to be coalescing with this email or this phone call or this letter that comes through the post. So it seems to, to be a, what I call a karmic setup. And there's suddenly, you know, the lot, there's a loss of peace and serenity and flow. Um, so my thing, of course, is um, uh, it would be if there's something practical to do to do that. I mean, I listen, my spiritual teacher is Dr. David R. Hawkins. I've got a subscription to his videos and I've got audio, him on Audible. So I'll, I may put him on in the background while I'm dealing with certain practical things. Uh, and then um, I need to start uh, applying, you know, and I'm lucky I attend um, self-inquiry groups and Course in Miracle groups and 12-step groups throughout the week. So maybe in an, in the in my observer group in the morning, I'll uh, just go to the witness sir, that, okay, so there's drama, but what's observing the drama and what's observing the observer of the drama? Uh, and if you do that for half an hour, you know, that will dissolve the ego. Then there's, of course, the miracles group a bit later on, and I can cancel it and pray for a miracle to see the situation differently. And God is a love in which I can forgive the situation, and instead of the situation, I can see peace. That will start to dissolve it. And then there's a 12-step group in which I'm sharing, and I can do the 12-step prayers to release the grievance and the fears. So I'll do that in that group, and that will dissolve it. And then... Um, through the day, I might be doing the observer who, who you know, um, what's witnessing? Is the witnesser suffering the drama? Oh, there is no one there and there is no drama. What a relief. Um, and OK, I cancel my belief in this drama. I'm an infinite being. Oh, I suddenly sort of forgot that. And I thought I was in a finite ego, but I'm actually the infinite truth. That's the truth of what I am. I'm not subject to being a limited thing uh, that's being attacked by lim other limited things that was just a fictitious drama yeah. so in that way throughout the whole day um my my natural after doing this kind of work for 20 i think 25 years now i was exposed to hawkins and his teachings it's like okay if there's thoughts if there's feelings if there's experience my level of consciousness is very low. I mean, ego, I mean, ego identification, which means um, you can't solve a problem being in the ego, because mi miracles don't happen while you're blocked off from the infinite. So I need to increase my consciousness into the infinite as quickly as possible, because when I'm in the infinite, the grace and the miraculous deals with the problem. My ego has not got the capacity. For miracles because it blocks miracles off from happening so it's basically dissolve the ego access the infinite and the infinite what once that's transcended and there is no problem then funny enough at that point when it's transcended also there is no problem it's like the infinite handles the problem which you thought you had so the solution is not to handle the problem is to disappear my ego that thinks there is a problem and I know that from years of experience, if there's a problem, I need to disappear myself until there is no problem. And then that the science deals with the problem. Uh, I don't need to deal with it. I need to deal with my ego thinking there's a problem. That's the problem. And miracles do not happen while I'm in thought. So miracles happen when I transcend thought. So that's, of course, miracles, you know, a miracle is not comes out of the infinite and doesn't come out of me being stuck in thoughts and trying to control a situation. Uh, that's how a situation gets more stuck, because the, level, the miracles don't happen when I'm identified with a personal story. OK, so I'll stop there.